Hello everybody, my name is Douse, welcome to Douse Plays, and we are playing a little game called Sunless Sea. I'll be honest with you, I saw Sunless Sea a couple of years ago when they were demonstrating it on a YouTube, I saw an amazing trailer for it. Uh, it's basically a interesting little game, uh, I have played a little bit before, um, of this kind of Lovecraftian Cthulhu kind of uh, horror game where London has literally fallen into the underworld and uh, you are a sailor that fires around the literal uh, sunless sea and it's called the Z and it's absolutely brilliant. Um, it has this weird mix of it being like a text adventure game and also being uh, a very interactive uh, exploration RPG game. So you do a lot of the work down here, where uh, you see like a lot of your options and choices, and then down here in this tiny little logbook, a lot of important information comes from. Uh, it is it, it is a, a flawed piece of work, but uh, anyway, let me show you the game. Uh, uh, but it's it's got such a wonderful atmosphere. So, um, so yeah, you choose a past. So. Uh, decide who you were and what you want to be. You now lodge in a room above the blind helmsman. Because three decades ago, in the reign of Victoria, London was stolen by bats. Now it lies a mile below the surface. It was dreadfully inconvenient for everyone. But it opened a vast black ocean to you. Welcome to the Untersee. And it's got that kind of dark... I would say almost Terry Pratchett-like humour. It, it's Terry Pratchett humour in a dark universe. Um, which is really interesting, and, and, and it means it's very, very engaging. So, how did, who were you before we were a captain? A street urchin, a poet, a veteran of the campaign of 68. You fought in the invasion of hell. London's armies lost. Uh, you survived. You're losing your pension and brought you... Come on, that sounds cool. Uh, a priest, uh, a natural philosopher. I like the idea of somebody who's literally been to hell. That's not bad. Um, stern and exacting they will not trifle with you you promise a job to your acquaintance the shady cook there he is there he will do until you find someone less disgusting good um, the currency is something called echo um, which is what's traded other things can be traded as well uh, and as you'll see as we play uh, the game it's quite interesting to see what goes as, uh, as actual currency in the game um, uh, what does winning mean to you uh, fulfillment, wealth, a private kingdom, uh, your father's bones. Um, hmm. Uh, I think fulfillment or wealth? Fulfillment or capitalism. Excellent. So, you know how it is to be poor, now you want a mansion, servant, fine clothes, and a family, perhaps. Lovely. So, uh, I've got an ambition, an objective, lots of... See, that's the thing. You've got all of this, but most of what happens happens in this kind of small little text box, uh, which is interesting. Uh, Captain, Captain, in regularity with the Harbour Master's Office, they wish to know what term of address you prefer ashore. Quite cool that you can be quite uh, gender neutral, um, which is uh, interesting in a game, and uh, I like to just go for Captain. If you're a Captain, you're a Captain. Uh, so wonderful. And choose my name. My name is Douse. And I look like... Well, it depends on the time of day, really. I mean, I mean that guy looks very fancy. He looks like the guy from Tintin. Uh, Indiana Jones. Jean-Luc Picard smoking a pipe. The Phantom of the Opera. That's just impractical. Does she know she has an octopus for her head? Uh, actual Patrick Stewart. I'm going to be... This guy, this guy looks great. Uh, so, you kind of navigate the land through these series of, like, texts. So you can, like, click on your lodgings and suddenly you're there. You can read the morning papers and you get supplies and you find out recent news. And that kind of gives you, like, opportunities for missions. So, um, go back. Let's go to London. So um, you go to the Admiralty Survey Office, and they can give you. So if you've like seen anything, um, you know you can you can you can give them things and all the rest of it. Uh, go to so the retrieve strategic information from Gaiders Morn in the Corsair Forest. 
somewhere not far from home waters. Okay, so that's something I can do. But every time I visit somewhere, I can come back here to earn money by giving a report of how that place is doing. So that's one of the basic ways you kind of earn uh, cash. Uh, I think we'll leave the Admiralty and continue. And I think we're nearly ready to just. Oh, an immigrant will pay to be taken off to Vendor Beat or Vendor Bite. It's obviously difficult to die in foreign London, but when a Londoner is too tatty and wretched to live, they wrap themselves in bandage. Yeah, so apparently, death has stopped in this part of the world. So everybody's just continually old and gets older and more tatty and um so you take the ship for the tomb colonies your crew cart these one these ones aboard in padded coffins they'll sleep there until the journey is done it's so bloody dark right let's see if i can actually you know um get going so there you go so there's your wee boat um there's a little uh tutorial which we will now disable and you click the launch button which is e and off you go. And you use the the Wasad keys to kind of move your boat. Uh, you can increase the speed as well up here. And you can see a couple of things. The fuel, uh, how hunger, hungry your crew is. And when it, every time they eat, they eat one of your supplies. So you've got to be careful. Um, every day they will... Um, give you an update on what you've seen and what you've done. Now, the other thing just to notice is this kind of here is the terror of your crew so these areas of the sea which is quite light it is quite easy for your crew to navigate they don't feel scared but when you go through darkened areas and you can just see the green lights will start to illuminate on the side of the boat uh, your crew will start to get like terrified of where they are so what is this low barnet quite low underwater low um, for barnet so we're heading north to vendor bite was it and there's the mascot we have a comatose ferris ferret uh, Oh, don't know about that dog. Uh, a row of watchful Z-Bats hang from a cable. Their heads swivel in unison as you cross the deck. Ooh. Prick finger wastes. That's a normal name. And that's my cook. So we've got um, my knowledge, um, my ability to battle, iron. Oh, there's a ship. He's not a pirate, is he? No, just peaceful. So yeah, we're now in dark waters and the, the, the crew are getting a bit scared. So you kind of move into areas where... They get light, and when they get light, their terror comes down. So you've got to manage the mental well-being of your crew, as well as the hunger, and as well as the fuel. Um, they do give you advice at the beginning of the game that you will probably lose your captain. He's, pro he's probably going to die. Um, but you retain the knowledge that that captain kind of uh, got. Where are we going here? Ooh, that looks terrifying. Let's not go that way. Let's go this way. Uh, cool. So we discovered Holman's stag, fed the crew. You do all that automatically. What's this place? Is this Vendor Bite? That little circle there means I can come into port. So let's do that. See where, what this place is. Ooh. Ah, oh, Vendor Bite. There we go then. Wonderful. So we'll just park up. Uh, cool. Uh, you brought this decaying emigrant north, now what? Uh, your passenger has been drinking. Ahoy, she chortles. Defend yourself. She launches a tipsy assault. Your crew hang back, chuckling. Thanks, crew. So uh, it's quite a straightforward challenge, so it resolves itself kind of like itself. Depends on your stats and all the rest of it. Like, like I say, like a good text adventure. Uh, tomb colonists have a lifetime of bitter experience. Some of them are the deadliest combatants under the earth. Possibly this one is when she hasn't drunk quite as much rum. You'll never know. Uh, good fight, she opines, then she staggers backwards and falls over the side. You never do find out what happened to her, but at least you have her mag rather magnificent cavalry sabre and all of her belongings. So that's cool. So I've got some new supplies, got some iron, and I've now got an artifact. Cool. Um, so then you can explore the, the tomb colony of Vendabite. Uh, there's a shop where you can buy... Uh, fuel and supplies but it's quite expensive you see look 20 and 30 so we've only got how much echo do we have there we go we've only got 70 echo so let's buy one of each so there you go lots of supplies now and plenty of fuel um let's have a look around the place so you can explore 
vendor bite, gather gossip, you know, let's gather some gossip. Um, you gather a whole of complex clues enough to keep your contract contacts in London interested. So we now have a port report of vendor bite, so now we can hand that in back in London and get some cash for it. And it's as simple uh, in terms of as a game as that. Let's uh, cast off E. Let's continue going north. Oh, what's that? And, uh, yeah, it's a very, very interesting exploration game, um, which has this amazing, rich backstory. It's also not the worst game to look at. You know, visually, it's very appealing. I just wish the logbook was a bit more, like, um, interactive. I just, I just w wish it, it was a bit more. If you, if you watch the original trailer, like the text on the logbook actually appeared on the sea, and that was quite interesting. Whereas there, you, you kind of miss some of the really good flavor text they kind of provide in the game. Um, so, Boral Reach is this snow? Touch it, and it puffs to vapor. Your crew huddles close to the warm for pipe and funnel. Oh, so we're uh, near the north. Terror's quite high. Now it's coming down because we've seen a light. Sensors Arch. And there's some great names as well. I mean, I haven't really explored a lot of this. Can I go under? Oh, I can go under there. I'm going to go under there. Because nothing can go wrong now. <laughs> Wither. What a lovely plan. <laughs> Let's go to Wither. Oh, what's that? What are you? Is that like an iceberg or something? Let's pretend it's an iceberg. Oh my god, it's a it's a it's a lifeberg. Okay, uh, fire. How do I fire again? I can't remember. Oh yeah, I press this button here. So you use one, and then you fire. That didn't do a lot. <laughs> that, retreat, retreat, retreat. Oh god, retreat. Oh fuck, that hurt. Uh, oh god, that really did hurt. It's killing my hole. Away, away, retreat. Thirty damage. Firing solutions have been set back. We're staggered. Uh, go away. Oh, no, no. Oh, I'm gonna die. No, don't kill me. Oh, miss me. Okay, go, 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 go. Into port, into port, into port, into port, into port. Run away, run away, run away, run away, run away. Oh. Fuck. And that's how you can nearly die in Sunless Sea. We now should leave, but I don't really want to because that thing is gonna murder me. Can I sneak past it? Should I go back to London? Oh, I've got plenty of food. Plenty of fire. Let's uh, let's go. Do, 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 do. Hello. Is there anybody in here? I'm all right if there isn't. Oh, that's the edge of the world. Can I go off the edge of the world? Or am I just gonna like? What's gonna happen? I hope I don't die. This. Is... Oh. What happened? I'm gone. The place that is no place. The undersea has no northern shore. Space is forbidden. Time contracts to a single frozen instant. Instant, there is only one way north. The high gate. You huff and fumble your way through darkness. The strokers labour below, as in an old sick dream. Fuel evaporates. Zaylas stiffen to stand. Am I dead? I'm dead. This is not a good place to be, but at least it is a place. The high gate, the, that one, the one way north. For a while there, you were somewhere beyond places. Perhaps, perhaps you survived. You now have the scars of the north. Lost the fuel. You are returning to port. Gained two fragments. Lost four crew. Oh my god. Lost supplies. Oh no. Oh, I've got no food left. And gained fifty new terror. Well, that didn't. That wasn't good. Where am I now? Am I in port? Where am I now? There's no shops, surprisingly, in this hellhole that <laughs> I've... <laughs> oh, man. I killed all my crew, and I have no food. Oh, shit balls. Um. Oh, I found some supplies. Cool. And abandoned expeditions here. That is great news. Well, off we go. And uh, let's head back to... Oh, I'm miles away. No! Oh, I need to get back to London. That is not good. That is not good at all. Oh, I... why, why can't I not go at full speed? 
Oh, because I haven't got a full crew. Oh, no. I'm lost. And I've got no crew. Full power to the engines. I imagine that eats fuel like a bastard. Yeah, it does. Alright, alright, alright. Calm it down. Just, just follow the lights. Nice and easy. Although my crew is terrified. Uh, <laughs> beware. When you go to full power, your engines will occasionally explode. Great. Oh, God. This has gone horribly wrong. Oh, what's that? Let's head for that. Oh, what's that? What's that going on there? It's, is, it, is it just snow? Is that what that is? Is that just snow? Is it dandruff? Why is the music all dramatic? Is it because it knows I'm fucked? What are you? Oh no. Oh no, no, no. Oh no, 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 it's gonna kill me. Full power to engines. Shields. Shields maximum. Flee. Oh. Okay. Come on, come on. Go, 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 go. Let's head into the blizzard. I'm sure that'll be absolutely fine. What is that? Oh, I found a fucking volcano. That's great. Ooh. Oh, is that a port? Yes. <laughs> Let me in, please. My crew is dead. I have no food. And they're terrified. Although, come on. Calm down, lads. Calm down. Oh, get in, get in, get in. Oh, is it ash? Is that what that is? Is it volcano ash? Oh, that's reassuring. Dock immediately. Um, is this the road? Oh, it's the road to hell. Oh, brilliant! Great. Uh, I can. What can I buy? Um, oh, fuel is cheap. Let's buy some. Oh, supplies are expensive. So let's buy more fuel. <laughs> Shit. Uh, oh. Dig among the ruins. Perhaps the village has left something valuable behind. You could go pick over the remains, see what you might find. Lovely. Let's do that because I could do with supplies. No. Oh, piss. Nothing but ruined fields and empty shells, and I've lost all my supplies. Well, I'm fucked. Right then, time to die. We're here, those voices that will not be drowned. This is a sea of voices. We are close to Polyfream, where nothing is truly dead. What the fuck? A tiny breeze stirs your hair and dies. Oh my god, what is this? What is that? Don't go in there, you tit. Run the fuck away. Oh no! Oh, it's a pirate. Oh, run away. <laughs> Why does everybody want to kill me? I'm lovely. Ah, there's a port. Get the port, 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 get the port. Go, 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 go. Leave me alone, you. Come back, back. We're a bit busy. Have that. There you go. Have that. Actually, come on. Let's have them. Let's have them here, lads. Come on. There you go. Yeah, now you're in trouble. Come on. Keep him in your arch. Keep him in your arch. Yeah, crack pirate. Fuck you. Fire! Woohoo! Oh wait, I'm busy! One more go, one more go, one more hit. Ow! There you go, got him! Can we loot them? Let's loot them! Yes! I found a crate. Oh, it's got some supplies in it. Fuck me. That's good news. Oh. Right, we have food, but we have no fuel. So let's see if we can get some food for some fuel at Gator's Morn, which sounds like a lovely place. Shops. Okay. Um, I could sell one of my supplies, but it won't be enough to buy any fuel. Oh, bollocks. Right then, off we go. Let's hope we can find somewhere nice and quick while that mist of hell... Um, Chases us. At least, the f at least we can feed the crew. A tooth cracking treasure. A chunk of grit baked in your ship's biscuit. You crack a tooth and curse. 
Your crew chuckle, but when the object turns out to be a diamond, small and badly flawed, but a diamond nevertheless, they all hush. Diamonds are sacred to stone, one says. Give it to the Z captain. It'll be luck for us. Hmm. Chuck it. Hang on to it. I need the luck. Let's chuck it. You've lost five terror. You now have the gods of the Z, stone's attention, and you know something of three gods of the Z. That wasn't the abundance of fuel and food I was hoping it would be. We're distant bells. Oh, that must mean we're close to something. Oh, yes. Look, we found something. Oh, what's that? I hope it's friendly. <laughs> Please be friendly. Oh, man, we haven't really gone as far as I'd liked. Right. You know, if I'd kept that diamond, I could have sold it at this port. Uh, compile a port report. If I get back to London, I'm going to make loads of money. There's no shops. Of course there's no fucking shops. Oh, shit. Well, shitty, shitty, shit, shit. We're about to run out of fuel. Uh, make a sacrifice to stone. Stone is the kindness of the gods of the Z. But that's not saying very much. She has a great, great wound from which a river of blood flows. Wound yourself in memory of her, and perhaps she'll sow mercy. Okay. Go. I have some fuel! I have one wound. Three wounds and I'll die. Lovely. Close Gazette here. Okay, let's, let's do this. We're going to make it to London, lads. We're going to make it. It's not far. It's fucking miles away. Yeah, look, we did it! Distant bells, home waters, sailors dawdle, dawdle at the rail, watching for the lights of London. Ah, good, good. Does that terror come down if we're near London? Terror is increasing rapidly. Oh, no. London isn't that bad, lads. We're good. We're good, we're good. Come on. We've got one coin to our name. But plenty of stories. We're hungry. So we might have to eat some of the crew. But we're here. Full power to the engines. Come on. Let's get this boiler home. Oh, thank God for that. And we have done it. Wonderful. A breath of relief. Oh, God. Terror is always reduced to 50 when you return to London. Good. However, if your terror was high, you may suffer nightmares later. Brilliant. Oh, good lord. Collect messages from the harbour master. Let's have a look about what's happened at all. Um, someone wants to sign on. They can definitely do that. Um, let's go and go to the Admiralty, give them all the information. So we got some fuel, we got some echo, oh good. Got some stuff from Vendabite, more fuel, more echo. More stuff from Wither, that's good. This is all worth it. More fuel, look at this, more echo. Some strategic information. Speaking to the Admiral himself, oh my word, look at this. Okay, that's but basically all the time I have uh, over Sunless Sea. It is an, uh, a really, really fun game. Uh, if you're into this kind of uh, Lovecraftian horror, uh, it's uh, an absolute uh, interesting game to play, especially if you play in the dark. You really get a sense of like the spookiness and all the rest of it. Um, but that's it. If you've enjoyed watching this video, like and subscribe for more like it. Other than that, I've been Douse. You've been watching a Sunless Sea on Douse Plays. And I'll see you later. Bye!